He's probably 16, 15 and a half. Oh, he swam right up under my feet. He's coming toward you, Grant. Throw your bait in front of him. Hey guys, Chris, the Midwest Bass Hunter. Something super exciting going down today. My friend Grant and I, we are gonna fish the Hook Bass Nation Kayak Series at uh, the Mississippi River Pool 7, 8, and 9. So we're uh, down on Pool 9. Um, we put in right over here. Grant's down there with the kayaks. I had to go park the truck. Um, but we're gonna get out here and look for some bass. Small mouth and large mouth we should be able to find. And uh, we heard the fishing's been really good. There's a lot of guys out here kayak fishing. I think there's 125 guys in this tournament. Should be pretty exciting. Some, you know, hopefully we can we can compete with these guys. So, um, guys and gals. Um, so, we're gonna get down here and uh, today we're just gonna practice. We're gonna practice today and tomorrow, and then the tournament's on Saturday. So, we're gonna get down here and get after it. Six foot right here. Did you get you squared away there, bud? Oh, there's one. Oh, he smoked it, dude, but I, mean, I didn't even touch him with the hook. All right, guys, so we're not really uh, experienced um, tournament fishermen, me and Grant, so uh, what we're gonna do, here's our practice strategy. We're gonna see if we can find a couple bites and we're gonna mark a waypoint and we're gonna head to a new spot because there's so much water to cover here. I mean, we could go back in this little area right here and fish all day. There's so much water here. So um, right now we've had one bite. I think maybe Grant had one. We got a couple bites on the frog, um, but we haven't landed anything yet. And I don't know, I'm pretty close to moving to a different spot or going a little further back up in here. I don't know if that's right or wrong, guys, but uh, kind of what I've what I've done a little research on. That's you know a lot of guys practice that way. Get a couple bites, mark it, move on. Look for look for a pattern in what you're you know what bites you're getting, and see if you can duplicate that pattern somewhere else. So, um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. If you guys have any other uh, you know bright ideas on how to properly practice for a tournament, let us know. Uh, leave a leave a little uh, comment down there telling us what what you would do or what you have done, what you've had success with, so. I think we should get out in the current, bud. We'll go back around this bend. If we don't find nothing, let's get out of here. Oh, it's gonna be like that, huh? Come on, let's cover some water. Let's go float down that channel. There we go. First fish. I bet it's a pike. Yeah, it's a pike. Son of a gun. Nice little pike. Don't really want to catch that guy. Here we go, that's my first fish on the Mississippi River. A little hammer handle pike. He's a little bigger than the hammer handle, but not by much. All right, let's let him go. Just remember, oh, there's a hit. That's a, branch. That's a fish. <laughs> yeah. Fish branch. Fish stick. Dude, I pulled on it and it pulled back. There's a fish. 
Look at that, my first bass. Ow, ow, ow. I don't think he's 12 inches, Grant. He was so small that when I had him hooked, I didn't really think I had him. Well, that's not gonna win us the day, Grant. We gotta find something bigger than that. All right, guys, we cannot figure anything out. So we're gonna go out here on the main channel and see if we can find a wing dam or something that we might be able to find some small mouth on. Uh, try not to get run over by a boat, but we'll see. Oh, he nailed it right away. <laughs> he hated it as soon as it landed on his head. I hope it's not a pike. Do not be a pike. It's a tiny bass, tiny largey. There we go. Well, we haven't figured much out yet, but we're out here on the main channel. And uh, we're gonna try and fish some of these current breaks, like wing dams and little hang ups like that. Here, I'll just steer you by running into you. Don't break my phone. Oh geez, your phone. Dude, are you seriously putting your phone right there? Yeah. You are not gonna have a phone to measure fish with come tournament day. No way. Finally a keeper bass. Yeah. Where's your miniature net? I love it when you knock that freaking phone out of there. <laughs> oh dang it! Was he like 16 inch or grand? Grass and rocks right here. Oh, there's one. Oh, he let it go, Grant. Son of a gun. That was like a Grant bite. Like it was actually not a bite. <laughs> I wonder if I schmucked the tree, but man, it sure felt like a frickin' pretty good pull. Oh man. Oh, I got a frickin' pike. Son of a gun. He's bigger than the last one. What? Pike. Look at him. There's one. I think that's a bass. No, it's a stupid little pike again. Another little pike sitting right behind that piece of grass, right where he's supposed to be. Right up on the bank. Well guys, I don't think my camera was on. Um, anyways, we got, we came back to this spot and we couldn't get through with uh, with our kayaks, although we may have been able to make it around. So we decided to stand up and walk for a little bit. Now, actually we can't do this in the tournament, so we won't be doing that on Saturday. But That's the first uh, keeper largemouth that I've caught. He's probably 16, 15 and a half. Oh, he swam right up under my feet. He's coming toward you, Grant. Throw your bait in front of him. Well, we're back at it, guys. Back off the sandbar in the boats. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, dude, it's a big pike. <laughs> he's pretty big. Yeah, he's about like that last one. Maybe a touch longer. Well, this is what we're catching mostly. Oh, all right, all right. Get in my net. He'd be a good one to eat. If you do that sort of thing. Practicing for a bass tournament. All I can catch is pike. That's the biggest one though, I'm thinking. Jeez. Stop. Stop. 
You listen to me, Grant. There he goes. He was a little bludgeoned too. He was all bloody. There's a fish. What is it? Oh, that's a good bass. That's a real good smolly. Oh man. Golly, golly. Oh, snikies. Oh. Oh my gosh, that's the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught. If I can get him. Yes! <laughs> We've struggled to find fish, but almost everything we found has been on laydowns. So I did, I got kind of my boat in position here and threw out a front anchor and I cast right up in there and here we go. That's the biggest smallie I've ever caught. Woo! Look at that pig. Smoke the spinner bait. Oh, That's a good fish. Ow! 17 and a quarter. Smalley. He just cut me wide open. I have a heck of a time measuring him. All right, there we go. We'll put him back. He hurt me. What a beautiful fish. There he goes. Well, that's what we gotta find some of. Man, it's been difficult. It's been really tough. But we got everything we want here. We got current. The water's not too dirty. So it's a perfect spot for them. We've just been finding so many stinking pike instead in fact when I caught him when I hooked that fish I was pretty certain it was a pike just because he wrecked my bait a little bit so we've been seeing tons of little shad I don't see any to show you right now but tons of little tiny little silver shad and they're pretty close to this color and um Usually I'll throw my bait in there and just reel it and they'll they'll all go jumping all over the place when I when I reel it through there. So I'm trying to trying to mimic that look a little bit. So I don't think this actually goes back to the river, but it looks like it might down there. Oh, stupid pike. <laughs> No, it's a smallie, dude. I thought it was a pike. Dude, I was barely moving it. What the hell? He might be a hybrid. No, he's a smallie. Dude, he was, I was barely moving it. Did you catch any back here? He is 14 and a quarter. That'll work. They're so chunky. Look at that thing. They're so heavy. Oh, wow, oh there's one. Had a bunch in it for a while. That's a smallie, I think. No, it's a little large mouth. Little chunker. Not too big, but he'd be he'd be big enough for five fish limit. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for practice day one. Um, it was a tough day, uh, tough for me for sure. We knew we were gonna catch 
you know we knew we were going to run into pike and we ran into a bunch of pike i caught some nice pike i mean that was cool but uh did get a bit off once i mean it was it was tough to find bass um put together a few patterns that we'll see i mean we'll see what tomorrow brings you can't win practice so not too concerned about it but uh, i did catch a really nice small mouth today that's probably one of the biggest uh, i've ever caught it's either the biggest or tied for the biggest grant caught four or five keepers i believe uh nothing real big maybe six couple 16s we'll see what tomorrow brings we're probably going to go somewhere else but we don't know we'll figure that out and then uh saturday uh is tournament day so we'll see what happens if you're new to my channel please subscribe hit that little bell down there so you don't miss anything and uh thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time